Well, today we complete our spring series and talking about the Steelers Hall of Honor, which will be inducting its third class coming up this fall. This was an idea created by the late Dan Rooney and his son, Art, who will be joining us momentarily to honor those great Steeler players, and there were many, who just didn't make the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and something I've been campaigning for for a long time, a ring of honor, some sort of a mention inside the stadium. And we're already getting set for our third class, and during these eight weeks of the spring, winter and early spring, we talk about a couple, three potential nominees for the Hall of Honor, and then the following day we interview some of the players who are already in. This year we talked to Jack Ham and Mel Blunt, Franco, Dermonte Dawson, uh, Mel Blunt, so many great stars that we talked to uh, about the players that they played with, Jack Ham, uh, that, that they would like to see in. We're joined now by the president of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Art Rooney. Art, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Stan. Great to be with you. Oh, my pleasure. You know, I remember the inaugural meeting uh, of the Hall of uh, honor selection committee of which i'm really proud to be a member and you outlining why you were doing this why you and your father had come up with this concept and i'm wondering now that we're coming into our third year um has it been what you hoped it would be uh, very much so stan i mean first of all thank you for being part of our selection committee and and uh, you know we couldn't do this without uh, without you people like you who understand the uh, you know the history of the team and been around to see <clears throat> see so many players, so many of our great players, and and uh, you know I think the the main reason we wanted to start our Hall of Honor was to recognize uh, guys who you know may not be recognized in Canton someday. We we know we have a lot of great players who uh, uh, you know may not be uh, be able to be uh, elected to the Hall of Fame in Canton, but deserve to be recognized in Steeler history, and and so. Uh, I think it uh, it's been something that uh you know we feel good that uh, the way it's transpired and and uh, certainly last year uh, you know we got to put in some people that uh you know meant a lot to to the team down through history and and uh so it's uh, you know it's it's worked great and you know I think uh, as we go forward here we have a you know a lot of uh, interesting and important names to consider it's difficult um, every year. It's it, everybody on the list deserves it. Just a matter of uh, what order they'll go in. I'm curious about two things, Art. The reaction you've gotten from just, if you will, Steeler Nation, just the fans in general, the community in general, and then the second part of the question is, what kind of feedback have you gotten from? former players whether they're in the hall of honor or not they didn't get selected right away uh what what kind of feedback have you gotten from them you know i think first then uh when uh when you on game day you see the fans lining up in front of our uh hall of honor uh uh area over there in, in the uh, fedex great hall uh you know that tells you something that the fans appreciate it they they want to see the guys that are in they want to get their picture taken with it and uh, and that really goes on you know pretty much year round and so the the reaction to the fans has been great and i think that uh you know when i think back to people like rocky blyer last year uh you know who uh you know really appreciated uh, being part of it really be appreciated being inducted and and uh you know guys like that i think uh special people special parts of steel or history and uh to be able to recognize Men like that, uh, it's uh, you know, it's very special. Yeah, you know, I'm wondering in all the interviews I've done with the guys who are in, especially uh, the guys who are in Canton, um, they are very supportive and protective of the legacies of the guys who are on the list for potentially being in the Hall of Honor. Uh, you know, you know, guys. We, yesterday, I talked about Larry Brown and John Kolb, and you know, the Mike Wagners and the Gordon Gravels, and you know, guys like that. And the guys who are, as you mentioned, you know, the big names, especially from the 70s, uh, they love it because they realize that they don't win four Super Bowls without some of the players that I just mentioned. No, that's right. That's right. You know, mentioning Larry Brown and John Cole, a perfect example of guys that uh, 
you know, played in the trenches for many years and allowed uh, Bradshaw and, and Franco and, and Swan and Stallworth to do their thing. And uh, and so hopefully uh, someday we'll be able to recognize the, the contribution that, uh, that they made and guys like that. You know, I think back to that offensive line, and that was one of the things nobody ever, except for Webby, no one ever made a Pro Bowl. Um, you know, and, and also the fact that John Kolb and Larry Brown were really soft-spoken guys. You know, they didn't say much. Um, and, you know, that, that probably hurt their chances, you know, uh, you know, to be uh, recognized. But that was kind of Chuck's offensive line in those days. You know, they, they really didn't get their due as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, you know, we, we uh, think about uh, how, how fortunate we are right now with the line we have and the fact that we've had these guys together for a number of years and, and how much that means. And, and uh, you know, back in the in the 70s, that, that line was intact for quite a number of years, and uh, they really never got their recognition or their due. And, you know, let's face it, part of it was the fact that uh, that we had some great stars, you know, playing the, the skilled positions, and, and that's where all the attention goes. But, uh, but those guys uh, really deserve the recognition. And, and like I say, I'm excited that someday – uh, you know, through our Hall of Honor, we'll be able to bring them in as well. Steelers President Art Rooney is our guest. Art, you mentioned people going to the Great Hall and uh, lining up and getting their picture taken. I remember when we initially began this endeavor, you had said that you'd hoped at some point that maybe you would bring uh, at least part of the Hall of Honor exhibition inside the bowl, inside the stadium. Um, is, is that still a possibility, or are you happy with where it's at right now? Well, you know, I would say that uh, we we still look at that, and uh, you know, we we do have uh, in the north end zone now we we have a uh, a banner recognition where you know all of the names of of the guys that are in, in the Hall of Honor are recognized, and we'll continue to at least do that. Uh, but uh, to be honest with you, Stan, as the list grows, the the uh, problem gets a little tougher, and. Uh, so whether we'll be able to do it in a way that we feel comfortable with uh, inside the bowl, we're you know we're always going to be looking at it, but uh, still haven't still haven't figured that part out. You know, it reminds me of the line from Jaws where the captain goes, "You're going to need a bigger boat uh, to catch that shark. <laughs> You're going to need a bigger place to put all that stuff." Um, just a couple final questions, Art, and thank you so much for being here. Uh, when the day comes. When your name is brought up, uh, will you recuse yourself, or will you vote yes, or will you vote no? Well, I would say, Stan, that I probably won't be around for that day. I'm, I, if it ever comes, it's uh, way down the road, so I don't expect to have to be a participant in that. And, uh, you know, it's it's one of those things that there are certainly a lot of people that I hope are on the list before before I ever get there. All right, as, as I expected you would answer. And the last thing, Art, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you, um, do you feel relieved that the, quote, turmoil uh, appears to be gone and that you can now concentrate on moving forward with this team? Yeah, I, I think uh, whether relieved is the right word, I, I think that we're all looking forward to 2019 and, you know, excited about the guys. Uh, we're, we're starting to see guys back in the building now, and, and that's fun to see. And obviously we're in the final stages of the draft preparation. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I'm excited that the focus here is really on getting ready for the, the 2019 season and, uh and that's where it should be. And, and uh, like I say, the, the best part about it is starting to see guys back in the building. And next week, I think we'll see even more as our off-season program starts formally. And, and so we're, you know, we're excited to get back to work. All right, excited to see what uh, this year will bring. All right, again, thank you so much for the time. Uh, it's really a perfect way to end our eight-week series on the Steelers Hall of Honor. Thanks again, and uh, I'll see you at our first meeting coming up in May. Look forward to seeing you then. Thanks, Dan. Good to be with you. My pleasure, Art. Thank you very much.